Hello and welcome back to another video and in this one I'm going through the European Championships. It is a bit early, it's not even April yet. The squads aren't out, I will do, I'm, I'll probably do another one closer to the date. But these are just my current thoughts on the Euros. I might do another one as I say closer to the date, I might not, this might be my final predictions. Depends on whether much changes in my head based on the squads, based on certain things, you know, like an Mbappe could get injured, everything changes in that regard. So I might do another one if that happens, but these are my early predictions, early shout to April. So yeah, let's get into it. Starting with Group A, the teams in Group A are Germany, Scotland, Hungary and Switzerland. I am saying Germany will finish top, Switzerland second. Scotland third and Hungary fourth. Moving on to Group B, I've gone Spain first, Croatia second, Italy third and Albania fourth. Group C, this is England's group, so I'll talk about it a bit more. Um, Denmark are a very, very good team. Could definitely compete with England. Um, Slovenia and Serbia, obviously. Slightly lesser nations in, in some ways, but both still... But they, they've got an opportunity in them. They're not awful. I mean, Slovenia beat um, Portugal the other day, I, I believe. Um, so, yeah, they very much aren't... I wouldn't write them off. But I don't think they're particularly likely to cause a massive upset against England. So, I've gone England first, Denmark second, Slovenia third, Serbia fourth. And before I move on to Group D, I want to quickly go back and talk about Group B, because I feel I overlooked it a bit. I overlooked Group A rightfully, because there's really not much to talk about. I think Switzerland are a good team in Group A. I think Germany are a good team. So I just think those two will probably be the two going through, and I think Scotland are better than Hungary. Uh, but Group B, I mean, it's a group of death I need to talk about, and I just didn't. So we've got Spain, Croatia, and Italy. I've said Spain will go through them first. I think Spain... One of the favourites for this tournament. They've got an incredible group of players. They've got so much talent on their hands. And Croatia and Italy, they're both very, very good, but I don't think they can match Spain. And I think Croatia will get the better of Italy if they were to play each other, personally. So, I've gone Croatia above Italy. But yeah, that's the order done. I don't know if I said Group C's order, but it's England first, Denmark second, Slovenia third, Serbia fourth. So that, yeah, that is the top three groups done. Let's now move on to Group D. It is consisting of France, Poland, the Netherlands and Austria. Obviously, the big favourite in that group has to be France, simply because it's France. I mean, they're one of the favourites for the competition. Of course, they're one of the favourites for the game. Let's be completely honest. But the other teams in the group are not bad. I mean, the Netherlands obviously a very, very good team. Poland have got a, a good group of players. Obviously, they only qualified through the playoffs. But they're a very strong team, Poland, and they definitely could cause some upsets in this group. Austria, strong, strong nation. They got, they've got a lot of decent players, but they don't really have the squad. So I've come with Austria fourth. A bit of an upset, Netherlands third, Poland second, and France going through as group winners, as you'd probably expect. But, um, yeah, a bit of a weird one. Moving on now over to Group E. Another slightly straight, I'd say straightforward group, but not that straightforward. I don't think Romania are very good, so I'd put Romania last in the group. Um, but Slovakia and Ukraine are they are they evenly matched in some ways? I guess so. Both got good a few good players, but not got brilliant teams. But I've gone Slovakia third, Ukraine second, and I said Belgium will win the group as you'd probably expect. Group F now, Portugal's group, Cristiano Ronaldo's group. It's looking it's looking pretty easy. They should get the better of Turkey, Georgia, and the Czech Republic. So I've gone Portugal first, Turkey second. I've actually gone Georgia third, a bit of an upset, and the Czech Republic down in last. 
So obviously, how the Euros works, there is um, the top two go through to the um, to the round of sixteen. But obviously, there's only six groups. That would only be twelve teams. So four of the six third place teams will join them. And those six third place teams, in my predictions, are Scotland, Italy, Slovenia, Denmark, Slovakia, and Georgia. And the four offsending through are the Netherlands in the first of those teams, then Scotland, Italy, and Slovenia. So it will be Slovakia and Georgia eliminated. So moving on to the round of 16 clashes now. The first one I've got is Germany against Denmark. Denmark, obviously, a very, very good team. But Germany are at home. It's in, in the tournaments in Germany. They've got a strong team at the moment. I, I don't think we can look past Germany against Denmark. Obviously, Denmark, a bit of an underdog in every tournament. It feels like they're the underdog, the dark horse that could cause some upsets. But I, I wouldn't put them past Germany. So I'm going Germany in that game. Moving on now to Switzerland, Croatia. Bit of an interesting one, this one, I think. Um, two, I'd say, pretty evenly matched teams. I mean, Croatia, historically, in recent seasons, have been um, the better performing nation. Obviously, they made a World Cup final in 2018. They, I think they went, did they go deep in the Euros? I'm not sure. But again, in World Cup 2022, they finished third. So, consistently making it far in major tournaments. Um, and yeah, but honestly, and this is a bit of an upset, I think Switzerland right now could get the better of them, and I'm going to say they will. Switzerland will beat Croatia. You've got to throw some upsets in there. I think that would can constitute as an upset, and I think Switzerland will get the job done. Croatia out. Moving on to the third round of 16 game. The biggest round of 16 games so far. It's Spain against the Netherlands. Um, again, two very, very good squads. I mean, the Netherlands have got incredible players. You know what I mean? Virgil van Dijk, Frankie de Jong. Very, very good players. But Spain, I feel like they've got the squad. They've got the better group of players. Upsets can happen. The Netherlands could easily knock out Spain. But I think Spain ultimately have the better squad and will beat the Netherlands. Moving on to the next game, it's England against Slovenia. This one should be a bit more straightforward. England really ought to win this game. And I think they will beat Slovenia. England got a very, very good squad. Slovenia, they got all black, but that's about all they've got. This is weird, actually. How do England play Slovenia? We were in the same group as them, weren't we? I'm not sure. I don't know what's going on with this, but I used a proper thing which should have the tournament tree, right? So maybe that is a possibility in the Euros because I think Slovenia went through as a third place team in my thing. So it might make sense. I'm not sure. Let me quickly check whether they are in our group. Yeah, they are. So it's a bit, bit of a weird one, that, but it is what it is. But yeah, moving on to the next game. A pretty big game. It's Portugal against Italy. We all know Italy are a strong nation. Two-time winners of the Euros, I believe. Portugal, obviously, have only won it once, but they have won it more recently. They have not won it more recently, because Italy won it last time. But Portugal won it in 2016, the time before. So the two most recent winners going up against it in the round of 16 going up against each other, not against whatever I was on about. But yeah, those two will be playing each other in my predictions. And I think Portugal have a good generation of players at the moment. And I think they will get the job done against Italy. So Portugal going through. Next up, Poland against Ukraine. Oh dear, I don't know. That is, those are two very evenly matched teams. I mean, Ukraine got some brilliant players like Zinchenko. But Poland have got some brilliant players as well, like Lewandowski. I mean, Ukraine have probably got a better squad. But you know what? I'm going to say Poland will go through. 
maybe that constitutes as an upset. I don't really think so. I think they're pretty evenly matched teams. And I'm saying it will be Poland progressing out of those two. So, moving on now to the next game. Belgium against Scotland. The penultimate round of 16 game in these predictions. Scotland, I mean, they're playing well at the moment. They've got a good team. They absolutely dominated the qualifying for the Euros in their group. But um, I don't think they'll get the better of Belgium. They've done well to get out of the group in this prediction, and they're not going to beat Belgium. So Belgium will progress. And now we're on to the last one, France against Turkey. Turkey got some good players, but ultimately France are the better team. France will progress to the quarterfinals. So these quarterfinals are actually big games in these quarterfinals. The first one of those big games is Germany against Spain. The hosts against a brilliant Spain team. I mean, both teams have got so many phenomenal players. I'm trying to think what areas each team would be better in. Spain have to have a better midfield, but Mazzial is pretty good for Germany as well. Attacking-wise... I don't really know. They're so evenly matched, these teams. Germany do have the home advantage, though. Would that be enough to edge the tie in Germany's favour? It could be. It could be. I'm really stuck on this one. I don't know. You know what? I'm going to give it... I don't know who I'm going to give it to. I'm going to give it... To Spain, just about, I'm going to give it to Spain over Germany. Germany knocked out in the quarterfinals with my hands are on my head. That was a hard one to predict. Those two are so evenly matched. That game could go either way. This next one's probably a little bit more simple to predict. Portugal against Poland. Poland have got good players, but Portugal have a better squad. Poland aren't the sort of team I would expect to cause an upset against Portugal either. There is some teams that could do that, but I don't think Poland is really one of them. So I think Portugal progressed to the semi-finals alongside Spain. Moving on now to the third one, this is probably the biggest one. Oh no, you can't be bigger than Germany, Spain really, but Belgium, France on the same sort of calibre. Um, Belgium have a good squad. Very good squad, elite players like Kevin De Bruyne. But France have got a phenomenal squad. The best squad at the Euros, if we're being honest. Brilliant in all areas of the pitch. Um, I don't, I mean, Belgium could cause an upset against them, the sort of nation that have the players to do it. But I think France will get, they'll get the result. They'll beat Belgium and progress to the semi finals alongside Portugal and Spain. On the last one, it's England, Switzerland, Switzerland. Have a decent team, but I don't think they've got anything that can really match what England have. And England should be going to the semi-finals as well. So, the two semi-final match-ups are Spain, Portugal and France, England. Now, this is not easy. Spain, Portugal. Portugal have an incredible squad, but Spain also have a incredible squad um, I feel like Spain probably have a slightly better squad but it's not all down to the squads I mean I don't know I just don't know I'm trying to think which team has more chance of creating chances I mean Spain have the better attacking players but it's not all about how good you are in a Offense, you also have to consider the defense. And I don't know. I really don't know. I mean, Portugal have a good defense, but Spain. Spain probably have a better one, and Spain probably have a better attack. And Spain definitely have a better midfield. Um, so do I just give it to Spain? Do I just give it to Spain, or can Portugal throw something up? You know what? I've just spent the whole time saying why Spain will win. And I'm going to say Portugal will win that game. I don't know why. I just think they might. I, I just, I've just got a feeling. They definitely won't. But 
I've said it. The other one's France, England. I think the two best squads at the year is France have a better squad, 100%. But England got a good group of players. The only reason England can't wouldn't be able to compete in this game is due to a bad setup, poor tactics, and the result not coming. I mean, France have a very good squad. Very, very good squad. I don't know. I don't know. It is tough. England England are a very strong team as well. I feel poor I feel France sorry have they have got a better manager. But it's, I mean they don't have a brilliant manager. But I still think they have a better manager. They have a World Cup winning manager. Um yes, yeah, it's, it's not this is not easy. It really is not easy. But I'm going to say France will win. I feel they've got... Their players work better together. That's how I would describe it. So, yeah, that's what I would say in that game. Um, so, yeah, that sets up a final of Portugal against France. And I would say France... France and England are the best two teams in the tournament. If France, are, the winner of that game, will go on to win the tournament against Portugal. France will win the Euros. I don't think there's a third place playoff in the Euros, but if it did exist, it'd be England, Spain. I think, I think England would get the better of Spain in the third place playoff. So yeah, France are my European Championship winners. And on that basis, Kylian Mbappe is going to win the Golden Boot and Player of the Tournament. And, yeah, I guess that's all that needs to be said about that. So that is going to wrap this up. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.